Holy shit, it's an actual lion. What is up everybody, my name is Wilson, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of markers on the map. But you're wondering, what are the markers for? Those markers are for another episode. So, okay, so, let's set up camp and then fast travel back to, um, the Brave Lake Manor, because we're gonna start our mission with Hosea and Sean. Fast travel. Yes, save you dumb bitch! Wait, save mana. Let's go, Arthur. I'm here to see, um, right, some of the enough. new guys seem to be wet behind the ears. Yes, sir. I'm here to see, um, Captain Breitwaite. And, um, Jose and Lenny. I mean, sorry, not Jose and Lenny. Uh, Jose and Sean. Alright. Stay here. Oh. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, please come in, sir. The fine joys of tobacco. Way, sir. Oh, thank you, thank you. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, so. welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys mm -hmm. going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> <coughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, mm -hmm. bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful mm. miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> Alright, well. Go, Sean. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Yeah, I'm driving, okay, Sean? All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his arse. The smug fucker. Mm. Okay. So what's she got us doing? Okay, hang on. Let me just um, kill a bit. Praise. Torture tobacco fields said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, using that back there. Moonshine? Corn's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said Ooh. it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking this hell about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose <laughs> really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these mm. families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they're really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose yeah. knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, oh, easy. So far, we've destroyed the brake weight still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? 
Don't mm, worry. So. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> okay. All right then. Wait a second. Are they gonna recognize me? You know, for the last time. They're gonna recognize me. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, they know me. Uh, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, act natural, Sean. I'll do the talking. Alright. Hold it right there. Oh. Uh. Hold. What do you want, boy? I've. I've. There, there was a thing. A, a, a thing. At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, they're definitely not going to see this. from Donegal in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, <sighs> Uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive <laughs> right this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. Who are you, buddy? You've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are now. Oh, it's not right. Oh, I should have got it. But look at the gun! <laughs> yeah, no one's ever gonna notice that. Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I never been a fella to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Ah, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. Alrighty then. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, the horse is like a, a swift one, <coughs> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. I'm sorry you don't notice the gun sticking out. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
Oh, okay, never mind. Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Where? Let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. Okay. We can hold up in here till it gets dark. Okay. Where you at, you? How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. Ooh. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> oh, yeah. These boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born one of down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Huh. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Well, let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. All right. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. for here.
Tranquilo, son. Baby, burn! Not right now. We got company. Look out! All right. Come on! I'm coming. Burn everybody! Go, go, go. Let's go! 
Great, but let's go. Looky here, you get them. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's get the hell out of here, fast. You're... Hey, follow me. Be careful. Oh, man, look ahead. Yeah, that's right. Number one best horse rider and gunslinger. Straight out the main gate. Come on. Hey on. Come on, horsey. Let's go. To a right party. You call that a party? Wait, wait, I got our money's worth, Ollie. Right? Let's just get out of here first. Okay. Go, 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 go. I think we lost them. And we did. Damn, look at that in the background. Sure. Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Uh, yeah, let's sure. go. Let's go back to camp, Sean. Here we are, back at camp. Alright. Oh, there. Right, what I was going to do that. Alright, Harley, we're going to go um, out. Because we need to go all the way over here. Let's go, Harley. See you later, see you later, horse. You did real good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You too. I'm ready for the next one. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, then. See you, Kevin. You guys remember, uh, we actually walked the Valentine Bank with Bill, Lenny, and Karen. See, with Karen, we had two choices. She could either, she could either be the lost little girl or the drunken harlot. Actually, it's the harlot. Alright, all right, hi, Harley, let's go. We need to go to the MA. We're going to find Margaret Zebra. Yep. Morning. Out of the damn way. How many places I need to go to? In the little, little episode. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get my my honor back up. Cause I want a good ending, not a bad ending, a good ending. I know I could have just fast travel with it. Sorry. I know I could have just fast travel there, but. Nah, I like the ride. 
So how y'all doing? You got some snacks? That's good. You do get some snacks. Oh, trying to get tired, huh? Huh, Holly? I don't have any, um... Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I, I picked up a, a pig mask. I am now Wildcat. Yep. Alright, let's, um, yeah, let's take off um, that. Instead, we're gonna put our pig and skull mask on. Oh, it's over here. Alright, let's just stick with the other way, very pointing. Alright. Alright. Let's go to the, let's go to the MA. No, 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 don't! What they done to you? This is a, this is a zebra. Easy, easy. Whoa, easy. Whoa. Easy. You're okay. Take it easy, man. Okay. Whoa, wow. Easy. Easy. You're okay, boy. Easy. You're okay. Take it easy there. Good boy. This is not a fucking zebra. This is, this is, this is a zebra you find in the, in, the, in the dollar store. Good grief! You found him! Our zebra! <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience. Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <clears throat> the allure of the stage. Dreams and reality. <clears throat> what is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning? There in the glare of those arc lamps. Something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference mm. between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... <laughs> as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Damn. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first... We shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. <sighs> yep. Come on, Holly.
find a tiger. And I swear, if it's just a pant, I swear, if it's just a mountain, like a mountain lion or a cougar wearing a fucking, wearing some fucking orange paint. Okay, girl, you done good, All right. girl. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, you weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and, uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. This way to go. Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. All right. That There it is. I got it. This way. Wait a second, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Got the trap! These are paw prints. Let me bring the wagon along. Make this dog. There's some pigment here. What's this? Oh, damn. Oh, darn. I found your dog. X dog, X line. I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put him in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. Grubs <clears throat> up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she ate the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Just shut it. I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Sorry, girl. All right. 
Let's go. We've got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good! Jolly good! You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful right. I care about. So long, mister. Yeah. Bye-bye, Sally. Be a dear and fix me a gin. <sighs> right, let's go to Emerald Ranch. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you. Let's go, Holly. We're here. Holy hey, we're looking for a lion. I got it in the barn. Boy. You seen a dog, a big dog around here? Dog? I don't know what I seen, but they got it trapped in the barn there. Okay. Hold your side! I am holding it! Hold yours! Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat! <laughs> it looked like a lion to me! That's a dog in there! A dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside! Come on, just a dog, okay? Yeah, boy. Didn't look Come like on. a dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. Come on. Shit, it's an actual lion. Easy, boy. Easy. Shit! What the fuck? Try this again.
Damn it! Damn it! <sighs> yes, skip the checkpoint! God fucking damn it. Poopy. He shot the thing. He's a dead. Yeah, I did. He's a goner. Yeah, it's gone. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Yes, he does. Yes, what? So, so yes, she does. Get off, get off. I just want to keep it. Hi, Kitty Kitty. Hi there, Kitty. How's it going? Hey, Kitty. Hi, Kitty Kitty. Did I pet you? Pets make good house pets as they can maintain any pest problems within their environment. Yes, they can! Alright, goodbye. But told me that the old lion was, was an actual lion. Odysseus returns! Sally, get the cages ready! Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. A man eating lion. You didn't think. But it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron! Steady on! I clearly stated that we were looking you for- You haven't a... clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I a knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, yeah, I'm skipping this. and I'm as up. dear as... Yeah, fuck off. So what do I get? An emerald. Yeah, I'm gonna start that. Anyways, uh, that's gonna do for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope you liked it, like and subscribe. Now, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!